So the DJI Osmo Nano, yeah, this little thing is finally giving us more than just blurry leaks and half-baked rumors. We've got legit info now, and honestly, it's shaping up to be one of DJI's most interesting cameras yet. Let's start with the the magnetic design, because this is where it gets really cool. Um, both the main camera and the transmission module support multiple magnetic mounting options on the back and on the side. It's similar to the DJI Action 2's modular approach, but this one looks way more versatile, especially with its bi-directional magnetic attachment. That means you can switch setups super quickly while filming. So what does that actually mean? Well, if you remember the DJI Action 2, its magnetic connection wasn't a flippable system. The main camera and accessory modules, like the front touchscreen or power module, only connected in specific orientations, front to front or front to back, because the polarity was fixed. But here's the difference. On this new design, the side mount isn't locked to just one orientation. You can literally flip it, and it'll still attach magnetically. In other words, the sides can switch magnetization so the camera snaps on in either direction. That's clever, because it lets you reconfigure instantly without rotating the mount or grabbing an extra adapter. You could switch from selfie mode to forward facing in seconds, just by flipping how it clicks into place. Now built in storage, 64 or 128 gigs, this is a big deal. Most action cams still make you rely solely on SD cards, and we all know how easy it is to forget one at home. With the Nano, you always have a backup ready to go, but you can still pop in an SD card if you need more space. Honestly, that's the kind of safety net every action cam should have. And then we've got accessories. DJI clearly wants this camera to live on everything. Headbands, chest mounts, magnetic clips, lanyards, you could mount it on yourself, your dog, or even your fridge if you really wanted to. Plus, it's backward compatible with Osmo Action accessories, so if you already have some lying around, you're good. The transmission module is another highlight. Think of it as a supercharged grip. It's got an OLED screen for framing your shots, works as a remote, and charges the camera faster. It's like a monitor, controller, and battery pack all fused into one little add-on. And about charging, DJI says you can juice this thing up to 80% in just 20 minutes. That's perfect for people who are always on the move. Quick coffee break, quick top up, back to shooting. As for price, the Nano is expected to start at 369 for the 64 gigs version and 399 for the 128 gigs one. These numbers have been floating around in online shops for a while now, and they line up exactly with the Insta360 GO 3S. Only catch? We still don't know if this one's making it to the US. Um, with DJI's rocky situation over there, it's a bit of a mystery. But hey, if it does land, it's going to be one of the most exciting pocket cameras of the year. With that said, we are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.